Okan Saki last year. The stare down from Butter Harry. Have a look at the intensity in the eyes of the Moroccan. He could beat the Sun in a staring contest. Three by three, one extra round in case of a draw. Two knockdowns in one round, and the fight is over. This is quarter final number one of the Fields K1 World Grand Prix. The voice, Michael Chavello, Sugar Ray Sefo, Mike Kogan with your inside. We are ready for the madness to begin. Mike, uh, my heart's beating 100 miles an hour right now. I'm so nervous, but so excited about this event. Razan Karayev will have the speed, will have the combinations, but a hurry has the power. Karayev jabs, body shot, right hand, overhand, right. They're swinging early. Oh, he's tagged him. He's tagged him. Karayev went down. Three, three, First four, knockdown is early. Four, Karayev says he's three, okay. But it's got to be calm. He's got to stay calm. But so does Ruslan. But a hurry says he's hunting after Peter Ertz's all time record. Of course, the fastest quarterfinal win in K1 Grand Prix history was when Pat Smith KO'd Andy Hug back in 1994 in only 19 seconds. Big right hand here from Bada Hari clipped him on the side of the head. I haven't seen a Russian that open since Klasnost. Ruslan is uh, cut pretty badly, actually, which could become a factor if there's no knockout in this fight. I think fight. that might have been a headbutt. I'm not sure. It was, it was definitely head, from a punch, I mean, but it was... Class, yeah, class. it might have been, but nonetheless, he's bleeding for yeah. Ruslan. Better again, going for the second knockdown! He wants to finish it! Oh, it's good night, Irene! It's good night, Irene! It's good night, Irene! But a hurry said he's going to go for Peter Oates' record! But a hurry in the house! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Pound my fist, my Kogan! Pound it hard! <laughs> hey, what about me? Ah, uh, you were wishing was you don't count. No, I want Butter to win! I want Butter to win! Butter, hurry! Absolutely thugging Roslan Karayev! Wow! He hardly raised a sweat, did hurry! Two knockdowns in one round under K1 tournament rules, and it's good night, Irene! That was vicious and delicious from Bada Hari. Mike, Ray, we both thought that Bada would win this one. Did you think he'd win it that quickly though, Ray? No, I'm, no, I didn't expect him to. I mean, well, you know, the thing is we all know his speed, we all know his power. We all know what he's capable of doing. So it was just a matter of who's gonna land first out of these two fighters. Because these guys are great fighters, they're both draw combinations, and but obviously landed first. Well, you know what? I think one of the decisive factors in this victory is also the way the, the team thinks. If you talk to Mike Fesnier, he's a very strategic coach with, with not just uh, fight strategy, but also the mental part. And I, I bet you he told him. You know, you knock this guy out. Send a message to the rest of the people, uh, you know, the rest of the final eight. Right. You are here to make some noise. The question is, is Bada Hari on par to beat Peter Ertz's record of 6 minutes 43 for a K1 Grand Prix victory? We're getting word through. It took him only 36 seconds to stop Rosal.